Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to change the Elementor's hamburger menu to any custom SVG image that you want. By default, the menu system in Elementor Pro doesn't give you any options to upload your own custom SVG image. So here's an example of the generic menu system in Elementor Pro. As you can see, they just have the regular hamburger menu and the close icon. They don't give you any options as of now to change these icons to whatever you want. So in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. The first way is going to be just using custom CSS code to add your own custom SVG images. This is going to be the free way to pull this off. The second way I'm going to show you is using this paid plugin right here called Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. This option is going to be much easier and won't require any sort of custom CSS coding. Using this plugin is going to save you a lot of time. The first thing we need to do is download the two SVG images that we're going to use in the menu system. So if you aren't familiar, you can go to a website like Fawn Awesome, Flat Icon, whatever it may be, and you can download these icons for free. So if you go to fawnawesome.com, type in your search. So in this example, I want to keep it fun and have a hamburger for the hamburger menu. And once you get your search term in here, you click this button right here, download SVG. So this is going to download this icon right here to your local machine, and then we can upload it to the website. This is actually going to help for performance reasons because you're going to just load up these icons and not the whole Fawn Awesome library or anything like that. You're just going to download this very small SVG image. So I already went ahead and downloaded this one. And also I wanted to have this close button. So when the menu is active, it goes to an X or a close button. So I did the same thing here, just downloaded it. And I just uploaded it to the uh, media library. The next step is we're going to add the CSS code to change that out. So in this example, I'm going to change the menu system icons and the main header navigation right here. So here it is on desktop, and then once it gets down to tablet and mobile, it switches to the hamburger menu. So this is just using Elementor Pro's uh, navigation widget right here, so it's called Nav Menu. And as you can see, it, just like on the front end, it will turn into a hamburger. So let's go ahead and add the CSS that we need in order to pull this off. What I recommend is just adding it to your header section right here. So if you click down here where it says settings, you can go to advanced and you can add this custom CSS right on this page. I recommend just keeping it on this page because it's easier to find it in the future. So what you need to do is just paste in this CSS below and I'm going to have this uh, code in the link in the description below. So I'll quickly walk you through what this code does and how you can change it out to fit your icons. So let me show you how this looks on the front end. I'm going to hit update. And let's refresh this page. And there you go. You can see the menu system is now using a hamburger and that close icon. So by default, Elementor adds these classes to these hamburger menus. And right, right here called Elementor Menu Toggle. And then right here, Menu Toggle slash Active. So the active state is when it's open. And then the regular is when it's not active. So if you go back into here, they just have this right here. So you need to add a pseudo element, which means you add CSS code before an element. You just need to understand that you need to keep this right here blank. So it says content blank, because if you remove that, you're going to see the old icons going to come right back. So you need to add that in there so it removes it completely. And then this is just using a CSS display block so it knows to display it as a block. And the way it works with SVG images, it's a little bit different. So if you have a PNG image, um, you won't need this much CSS code. But in this example, I'm just showing SVGs. What you need to do is declare it as a background. So you do background URL. And then once you upload your images to your media library, you can just click it. And here is your file URL that you're going to use right here. So right here, this is the hamburger solid SVG that I downloaded from Fawn Awesome. And there's the URL right here. And the way it works with the backgrounds is you need to declare the width and the height. So in most cases, you're going to want to just keep it as a square. So in this case, I just kept it 40 pixels by 40 pixels. And then with background images with CSS, you need to declare how you want to display the size. So in this case, we're just going to do cover. And that's how you display the hamburger icon. And so if you go here on the close, you can see it's the same thing. It's the same exact code. We're just displaying it as a block. And this background image is the circle icon. So it's this icon. And then same thing, 40, 40 pixels by 40 pixels. So if you have a case where the icons um, aren't perfectly square, you can easily just go in here and change it. So for example, let's say I change this height to 20. It's going to look skewed. But 
if you're not using an icon that works well as a square, you can see this is just like the top of the bun. So you're just gonna have to play around with those numbers, make sure it fits correctly. And you just hit update. And now everywhere that the icon is gonna show up in the menu system, it's gonna swap those images out right there. There are some disadvantages to doing it this way. And one of them is you're not gonna be able to easily change the size or the color of these icons within this uh, element or widget. So let me show you an example. So by default, usually you can go into here under the toggle button, and this is where you can usually change like the size of your icons. As you can see, it's changing the size of like the background area, but it's not changing the size of the icon. So in this case, you're gonna probably want to change the size with that CSS code. And normally you can just click here where it says color, and you can change the color of these icons. But as you can see, I'm changing the icon colors and nothing's happening. That's because this is now being injected with CSS as a background image. So what we're gonna to have to do is actually change the code inside of the SVG image itself and then re-upload it. So let me show you how to do that right now. To view the code of an SVG image, you just need to open it up in a text editor. So in this case, I'm just using Windows 10 and I'm viewing it in the default notepad with Windows 10. And within here, there's some pretty generic uh, CSS code that we can actually just change the color of it here and then re-upload it. So what you're going to want to do is if you find your SVG image has this right here called path fill equals current color, we just need to go ahead in here and change this to a hex color that we already have saved. So in this case, I just have it at this hex color right here, which is a blue color. So I'm going to save this as hamburger solid blue and then re-upload it into WordPress. As you can see here, I just uploaded this image and this hamburger icon is now blue. So let me go ahead and just copy that. And let me show you how easy it is to change it out once you have it in your CSS code. So you would just go into your CSS that you added in the first step and just underneath here. So you just update this URL right here. So I'm gonna update it to the blue one. So you can see it's hamburger solid blue.svg. And that's all you have to do. So if you wanna go ahead and do the same thing for your icon for the close, you would just do that. Just open it up in a text editor and change that fill color. And then you'll be able to just up re-upload it. Let's make sure it works correctly on the front end. So if we hit refresh, you can see it's blue and then it goes to the black. So that's how you do it the free CSS way. As you can see, there's a lot of extra steps to do, but in most cases, you're just gonna have to do this one time and then you shouldn't have to worry about it in the future. But now I'm gonna show you how you can use a paid plugin and you can just do it all visually without touching any CSS code and you'll be able to actually update the colors all within the widget itself. The plugin I'm going to show you how to do this in is using the Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor plugin. Um, this plugin has a lot of different widgets, so I covered some of these in a past video, so you can check those out. But this is one of the very few Elementor add-on plugins that I actually recommend because a lot of these widgets are very useful and it's really lightweight on the code. It's not as bloated as other uh, Elementor add-on plugins I've seen out there. This is my favorite one by far. So now I'm just going to show you how easy and quick it is to do the same effect using this plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and remove this old menu system. So I just typed in nav right here and you can see it pulls up this uh, ultimate add-ons widget. You just click and drag that in. Let's change this to the main menu system. And we're just gonna stay in mobile for this tutorial, but as you can see, uh, they have their icons right here. And let me show you how easy it is to change. This is it right here. They visually give you the ability to upload your SVG right here. So let's just upload this uh, black hamburger that we originally had and let me hit upload here and let's do that one and that's it you see how quick that was you didn't have to mess around with any css code or anything along those lines let's just hit update hit refresh and you can see it's a black hamburger and your close button now i'm going to show you how you can easily change the size of it and the colors without touching any code so what you do is you just go under style menu trigger close and let's say we want to change the hamburger to a red you can see how easy that was right there. And let's change the size. You can see you can visually change the size because it's not doing it as a background image. It's keeping it as a regular SVG icon. So let's make it kind of big and you can click right here and you can see that goes to red too. And if you want, you can have a different uh, hover color. So let's go to like a blue. So when you hover over, it will go blue. And that's it. Let's hit update. Let's do some testing. So as you can see here on the mobile device, the icon size is much larger. When you hover, it goes to blue, red, active. Yeah, everything is working 
perfectly. So I'm going to show you a few other really useful things for the mobile layout on this plugin. So as you can see here, you can change the alignment. You can do left, center, right. Let's just keep it centered. A lot of times people may want to label in front or behind the icon, so they make it really easy to do it right here. So you can just have menu, after icon, or before icon. This could be pulled off with CSS, but it's much easier to just, if you're within here and you have this plugin, just click this button and you can easily add that. And that's it for this Elementor tutorial. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.